Okay, let's look at uh, exactly how bound box works. This. Um, this, because this is a con, uh, the key concept, we want to, to know the idea how to deal with all the boxes. So here, we import the library, and so these are cat dog images we had showed in the slides before. Um, and actually, I bought this one uh, like for ten dollars. Otherwise, it's pretty hard to find uh, like uh, image you can use <laughs> without pay that. <laughs> so it's pretty safe. Uh, the only image I bought for this book is this, this one. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Um, so you can see that the bond box can be defined by th uh, by things like by four numbers. This is a dog bond box. The BB box is called is called a bonding box, and the cat BB box I like is a common name for I used to in detections. Uh, then this is a cat. Then I'm gonna show a function here. I cannot say it's, uh, like uh, just a plot. This thing I I can ignore the code here. You can see that. Well, this is the dog, this is the cat, okay? And also, sim similar thing, this is zero for the x and the y axis. And then another function to show multiple boxes, I can skip all the things. This is just a plot, multiple bound boxes. Um, the only thing that the, the, the fig and the list of bounded boxes, if you have labels or not, and you want to pick up the color. So that's the only thing you want to know. Okay, so here's the thing. So we, so we're gonna generate, so this function, it's on the contributor, called the multi-box prior. What are you gonna do here? Given an image. So given an image, image here, the, the height and the width is for the image, and I just fake something here. I don't care about the image content. I only care about the shape of the image. So what this bounding box will do here, for each pixel, I can generate, centered with this pixel, I can generate multiple anchor boxes. So you can control the size, which is relative to the original image. 0 0.5 means I can generate the bound box, have 50% of the size of the original image. The ratio is the height to, uh, it's a width to height ratio. Zero, uh, one means, uh, is a square, and the two and 0 0.5. So then I can uh, generate a bunch of, I can uh, generate a bunch of um, anchor boxes with different size, different ratios, okay? Then you, you see that you're gonna generate a, lot, a large number of bound boxes because for each pixel, you're gonna generate multiple anchor boxes. So uh, I'm gonna return something, I'm gonna reshape and print all these anchor boxes centered at um, 250, 250, and um, now I can see, show you that, okay, let me, this is the image we showed in the slides. So all these four anchor boxes are centered at this pixel and have different size. Uh, this, this is the, only get a quarter of the original image, half of the original image, and uh, not half, half, half is here, half is the green one, and this one's uh, three quarter, and also different ratios for the image. Okay, so this is how to gen. You can you can decide. Okay, what different size you're gonna try, different ratios you're gonna try to generate a, a large number of uh, uh, bounded boxes, uh, uh, anchor boxes. Then the other one that, if I already have the ground truth, which is a bounded box, uh, zero means the the class label. And this is the bounded box of this, uh, the, the number for this bounded box. And we have a bunch of uh, anchor boxes. Here we have how many of them? It's one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. Um, then we can visualize all the things. The black one is the ground truth. The dog, cat, the color ones, just the anchor boxes. And we show the label in one, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna label this anchor box to the ground truth. What do we do? I'm gonna skip the definition, uh, how exactly to implement that. Actually, you can use in the multi-box target um, to given the anchors we have, given the ground truth we have, uh, you can ignore this one. Uh, but 
we can uh, because we single batch, we can expand a dimension at the x is equal to zero to get the batch a batched version. So it's going to return three things. The last one is called the label. We assign labels to each uh, anchor boxes. So here we have five anchor boxes and uh, two two objects, and we give zero to background, and this one assigned to dog, this one assigned to cat, the fourth one assigned to um, background, and this one to cat. Let's see that. Um, so zero is a background, one is actually a cat, one is a dog, and let me see. Then uh, two, well two, two is a cat, three, three is background, uh, three is background, and four is actually a cat. Okay, you have different flavors how to generate the things. Um, the reason this one is kind of labeled as dog because it's not better anchor boxes here. So even this one is kind of labeled as dog. Actually, it's not very accurate to the actual boundary box that we have. For cat, so four is much better, okay? And the rest of it is a kind of a mask, which means uh, the mask is for each uh, values for the boundary box. Zero means it's background. Uh, one means this is actually, this, this is a part of the anchor boxes assigned to objects. So we're gonna use the mask letter to how to panel, uh, to define the loss function. The final thing is the offset, how to map the anchor boxes to uh, the rear, uh, how to map the anchor boxes to the rear bounding boxes. Zero, if it's just a background, we don't need to map. Um, if otherwise, we give some values here. So this is a real value, we can see that. Okay, questions? So the other one that, well, how to output. So here we have, assume we have multiple predictions here. So before we map labels to anchor box, now here we assume the algorithm already have predictions for each anchor boxes. So here, similar format, the first, the first element is the, predict, uh, the predicting score is a confidence how we contain the objects and Oh, sorry, uh, this is actually the bounding box, it's not, it's not the score. This is actually the bounding box. Um, the offset, I just uh, make it a zero for simplicity. And also the class probabilities. is a softmax output, we're gonna predict uh, uh, for each, ca uh, each anchor box, we're gonna predict uh, for each uh, class we have, what is the confidence score. Then we print all the things here. You can see that the dog has three um, almost ident similar uh, predictions the cat has one. So what do we do here? We're using multi-box detections, given the class probability, given the offset, uh, given the anchors, and uh, so here's the M NMS thresholding. So we choose 0 0.5 here. So we're gonna, if two bound boxes, the overlapping is less than 0 0.5, we are most likely to just remove them. So you can see that the output will be zero means is actually have uh, the class one means is the class minus one means we just removed. So um, you can see that the cat, the dog we, c we have, the cat we have, but the other dogs we just removed. To visualize it, we just, uh, uh, we iterate all the results if it equal to minus one, we just skip, otherwise we just print. You can see that we print the result, remove all the duplications. Okay, questions? Okay. The other thing here is that, um, well, uh, we want to have, we maybe care about different scales, so here, the bounded box, we actually don't care about um, how large, the actual large images we have. For here, we tell the algorithm that the image only have f four pixels for the width and four pixels for height. So for the, for the algorithm itself, we think, okay, I only have four pixels, one, two, three, four, and four rows, four columns. 
and for each one I can generate a bond box for that. Um, so you can you get you kind of get get scales uh, much smaller because the shape here is kind of uh, you, you give a fake shape to the algorithm. So give a smaller one so it can actually generate small bond boxes. Uh, keep the same thing, keep the same size and the ratio, I don't change it. I just tell the algorithms that, okay, the input pixel only have two pixels, two, uh, two for the width and two for the height. It actually generates a little bit larger bond boxes. So the, the idea here that I don't need to change all the size and the ratios, I ju just change the input size so I can tell the algorithm to generate different uh, ratio uh, bond boxes. So that is, well, that is useful for like the ULO we're gonna uh, talk about in the, in maybe next lecture, uh, next uh, lecture. Okay. Also like given, assume the image only have single pixel, we can generate very large bond boxes here. Okay. That's all for the bond box. Do you have questions? Question. So um, the prediction, the labels for the anchor boxes, how is that done? Does it just do like object detection on the anchor boxes? Um, just image classification. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show maybe we we maybe have time to talk a little bit uh, today. And the initial anchor boxes, how are they generated? Is it just random? Depends on the algorithm. Um, different algorithms have different ways to generate anchor boxes. Okay, any other questions? Okay. Um, before we talk another one, 